going on YouTube, GS right here. So in today's video, I have great news for those of you waiting for check rain, especially for those of you waiting for check rain on iOS 15, but also some important things to discuss for those of you who are not waiting for check rain, but rather for uncover. So this video is going to be pretty important. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly to your phone from your computer. You can also back up and restore social media and transfer them from a device to another. Check it out in the link below. Also, thanks to the people who are supporting this channel on Patreon, they're on your screen right now. So check rain, yes, the check rain jailbreak is not currently supporting iOS 15, it's been the same for the last couple of months, but finally we do have some updates. If you go ahead in here on the website, there is nothing new, but if you go ahead on the GitHub page on the check rain, you can see that the Pongo OS, which is basically a part of check rain, is one of the underlying components of check rain, does have a branch called iOS 15, which has been updated 23 hours ago by Saigusa. So if you take a look in here, here on what's been going on in this, you can see that they've been actively working up until November 20 when they stopped, but now February 18, Saigusa started fixing more stuff and adding more code, which means that they are indeed interested in fixing Tango OS and Checkrain for iOS 15. That's pretty good news because it means that Checkrain is definitely not dead, is that the developers may not have enough time to work on it on a daily basis, which means it takes some time. Also, iOS 15 is pretty bad in terms of jailbreaking because of the sealed rule fast, so that will definitely take time. Now, for those of you who are waiting for Uncover, there are some bad news. iOS 15.3 stopped being signed today. So Apple stopped signing iOS 15.3, leaving only 15.3.1 available. Now, that's not very bad, because 15.2 Beta and 15.2 Beta 2, but also 15.3 RC are still available, and you can save your blobs using the Air Squared Blob Saver here. I made a tutorial, which you can find in the description down below on how to do that, but I would definitely recommend you to do that because these betas will likely stop being signed very soon now that iOS 15.3 is no longer available. Now the 15.3 RC is basically the same as 15.3, even though they have a different build number, it's just a small difference between them, it's basically the same thing, so you should definitely save those blobs. As I said, you can use Blob Saver, which I made a tutorial about, and of course you're going to ask me how can you use those blobs in the future in order to upgrade or to downgrade to unsigned iOS. Well, I covered that in depth on my website website, there is a tutorial here how to use Future Restore to downgrade or upgrade to unsigned iOS versions, and this one covers absolutely everything you need to know, including the commands, what are the blobs, how they look like inside, so everything you need to know and all the commands and stuff like that are available here, definitely check it out. I even made a video which is available here on the website, and there is also the troubleshooting steps. I'm gonna link this document in the description down below. At the same time, important for iOS downgrades, we've saved SHSH blobs, including those for the beta is this document here containing the future restore iOS downgrade SEP and baseband compatibility chart. But you can read in here and see exactly what iOS versions can be downgraded to what. If SEP and baseband are not compatible or they break stuff, then you cannot downgrade or upgrade. This page was last updated in February, so it's up to date all the way up to 15.4 beta, so you're good for now. And I'm gonna keep it updated as well. Both of these pages will be linked in the description, but yeah, definitely go ahead and save your blobs for 15.2 and 15.3 RC if you didn't already, and do not update to the newer versions, stay as low as possible. You can save the blobs without updating your device. But yes, the best news are coming from Checkrain, they are updating their iOS 15 builds in the background, and while this may still take time, it means that they are actively working on it, which indeed gives hope. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, save your blobs, and peace out.